Single men have read it. What made you definitely not want a second date with a woman you went out with? I actually have a list of such things. My favorite is that she confessed to doing meth occasionally. She forgot to take off her wedding ring at the second date. She forgot to mention that she had a boyfriend. Edit. Geez, this blew up. Let me add a few things. I became suspicious when I saw the background of her phone. It was a picture of her kissing with a man. When I asked her about that picture she told me it was her boyfriend. The reason she was doing this was because her boyfriend was boring. She couldn't answer when I asked her why she didn't break up with him in the first place. Told her that what she was doing was not cool and that she needs to be honest to her boyfriend. Ended the date afterwards. Edit 2. This was a Tinder date by the way. She didn't say anything. Like, there is being nervous and then there is that. We were taking a film class together in school and agreed to go see a movie together, 50-50, that counted for extra credit. It became clear a few days beforehand that this was turning into a full-on date and I just rolled with it. We were both single and I thought we could have a fun night out together. I asked if we could get dinner after the movie to talk about it and get to know each other better. She seemed excited by the idea and I was looking forward to the night. I picked her up and she was dead silent. She was dressed to the nines for a casual date and was clearly nervous. I did my best to break the ice and run the conversation, and the best I could get out of her was a nervous chuckle and a, yep. After the movie I asked if she still wanted dinner and she said absolutely, dot and then proceeded to watch me eat dinner while she stared at me. When I dropped her off at home she told me she had a really nice time and hoped we could hang out outside of class again. I told her for sure, and we said good night. She flat out never said another word to me in class again. A year or so later I ran into her at a party and asked her what that whole deal was about. She confessed she was so goddamn anxious that she had no clue what to do or say. Apparently that was the first date she had ever been on with a guy. It's a shame too because in class we got along really well. I was just so put off by the silence that I didn't know how to approach her for the rest of the semester. Apparently she is a semi-professional golfer now. I haven't heard from her in years, but I hope she is doing well out there. I posted this somewhere else before but it's relevant here so I'll repeat it. So I take this girl out to a bar slash restaurant, meeting her for the first time after talking on an online dating site. After she orders her food, she drops the bomb. She tells me for the past 7 years, she has been a professional dominatrix. So I'm an open-minded guy, I'm cool with this. She probably has some funny stories right? Well. She starts telling me these stories, and for the first half hour or so, they are pretty entertaining. Eventually though, I want to talk about other things. However, anytime I try to change the subject, she immediately brings it back to dudes she pooped on. It got weird, I could barely get a word in. She basically didn't take a breath for 3 hours. Again, I'm a really open-minded guy. But there's only so many consecutive stories of ball gags and double-sided dildo butt beep a person can take before even the most open-minded amongst us start to feel uncomfortable. At one point, I excuse myself to go to the bathroom. As I stand up and turn around, she seizes this chance to smack my butt and says your ass looks like a baby pumpkin. I could bounce a quarter off it and get back two dimes and a nickel. Keep in mind, this lady is a professional. It was crisp and painful. To put this in perspective I was wearing thick jeans, she hit me in my back pocket, and when I checked myself for damage in the bathroom there was a clear fat red handprint on my butt cheek. Like, I could see the lines in her hand. I could have mooned a psychic and they would have been able to predict her future. So I'm about done with this. We finish the meal and I drive her home, while she still blabs tales of donkey tail butt plugs and toys I've never heard of going in places I wish I hadn't heard. So I pull in her driveway, the second the car goes into park she immediately grabs my nuts. Like specifically targeted them. And it wasn't sexy, it was a hostage situation where she had all the power. Then she straight licks the side of my face, chin to hairline, her tongue as big as a Shetland pony. I do not want. Then she looks me in the eyes and says menacingly I'm gonna strap you into my sex dungeon. The beep you are, I choose life. I think to myself. How do I get out of this? She literally has me by the balls here. So here's what I come up with. I tell her that hell yeah, let's do it. I have a special toy I keep in my trunk is that okay? She says sure, bring any toys you want. 
So I tell her to meet me at her doorstep while I bust it out because I want it to be a surprise. As she steps out the car she gives me a look that she thinks is sexy but is actually terrifying. The second her feet touch the ground, I slam the car in reverse and fly out of her driveway as fast as my car can go. You know how most people pull out of a driveway, switch to drive, then drive off ahead? I did not do that. I didn't want that one second of switching gears to give her the chance to catch me. I pulled out the driveway and just kept going down the street in reverse for like 5 blocks. The passenger door was flapping around, still open because I took off before she shut it. When I am satisfied she won't catch me, I close the door, put it in drive, and go home. Gotta get back on that horse, right? Wrong. I got home, iced my balls and deleted my online dating profile. Not today, Satan. Edit, well this blew up again. Shout out to Lalala Hooray for the blame. And to those Reddit silvers. Nothing makes me feel better about having my nuts squeezed like a goddamn dollar store stress ball by a psychopath than knowing that thousands of strangers will laugh at the telling of the story. Cheers, clinking beer mugs. Edit 2, I did post a tifu so we will see how that goes. If you enjoyed this maybe go swing over there and push it up so more people get to see it. Edit 3, my tifu post got deleted by some nefarious person. I have gotten no notifications as of why but I suspect the story was too sexy, sexy posts are for weekends only. Or it could be because I mentioned poop. It's a weird rule set. So I guess I'll post it this weekend. If anyone knows what the beep is going on feel free to tell me because I actually somehow still suck at navigating the internet and figuring out how things work. Edit 4, last edit, probably, my tifu post was indeed too sexy and involved too much poop and butt stuff for the weekdays. The rules say sex and poop are weekends only. So this weekend I'll post the tifu and dedicate some more time to responding to your questions and whatnot. Good times. First and only date with a girl I barely knew through some friends. I drove to her house, she got in my car and smelled like she had just taken a massive beep but forgot to wipe. Went to dinner, I barely ate. Made an excuse to end early, dropped her off and drove home with the windows down in the middle of winter. She showed up in a dirty white dress, her hair looked like it had not been brushed in months. During dinner she told me that she still lived at home, never wanted to get a job and that she stole her dad's car while he was asleep to meet me at the restaurant. Then when she found out that I was divorced she said you didn't work hard enough to save your marriage. I put down the chopsticks, went and paid and said nice meeting you and left. Edit. Holy hell this blew up. Rip my inbox. I don't know if I'll be able to respond to all of the messages but thank you internet strangers for the kind words. In case anyone is curious. I've remarried and I adopted her daughter right after the marriage. They are both pretty awesome people. Went out for coffee. She brought a bottle of vodka and kept topping up her cup. I politely asked her what the deal was and she said she liked to party. When it was time to go, she fell over and started screaming that I had to help her up. I did, told her to wait right there, and left. Edit, I helped her stand up and then bounced. I'm not a complete asshole. She chewed gum through our initial date, which was at a decent Italian place including a bottle of good white wine. And she proceeded to tell me how she had married early, had two kids, girls, realized she was a lesbian, left her husband and took most of his money, lived with girlfriend number one, left girlfriend number one for number two, ended that and then realized that, long term, she needed a dick. I noped the beep out of there so fast. Crabs. Big mother beep. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.